congratulations on the win. Going in today, you said Gotham was going to be a dangerous player. How difficult was it for you to keep the pressure on him, especially in that first set? It's all about preparation for me. I think uh, I was I was just feeling I was just feeling well prior to the match, and uh, I mean I knew he's gonna fight throughout the whole match, even if the score was to say to love up or whatever. I mean I, I knew that something's gonna come my way, so I always had to be alert. But uh, I think the first games were really important in that match. I think both of us were a little bit uh, a little bit tense, a little bit nervous. But I, I think I think I managed well mentally to to stay on top of him and to kind of play my game, but in the same time control the the rallies, especially with the wind. Um, he was very dangerous. Like when I was on the other side, was just I was struggling a little bit to sort of get the right direction of the ball. But after that, was just uh, you know I had a good control over the match, and I think that helped a lot. And you've had a really strong start to your 2017 campaign. How much of an impact would you say that your new coach Danny has had on your current form? Ah, I mean, well, pretty much all, all of it. I think. Uh, I mean, I have to. I have to say big thanks to to my team. I mean, they, they they've always been there for me, and and adding Danny to the to the squad, so to speak, last year was I think was a great step, and we all felt that we're doing the, the right things, and we all have the same the same goals, and of course my fitness guy Sebastian. So we were all like. Kind of just keep on working and believing in in the work that we that we are putting in. For sure, there's always a lot of doubts, and you ask yourself and you're questioning, can I do it? And you know, am I fit enough to go on? And these were the people that were there. And then, uh, last but not least, my family. I mean, they were they were tremendous support throughout the whole the whole time, even you know, in ups and downs. But uh, but yeah, now we're here, aiming for that. Uh, that Australia Open, so it's uh, you know things are things are pretty good right now. And you're now going to go into the semi-final off the back of a 10-match winning streak. Does that give you some sort of confidence, obviously, going into that? Yeah, when you say it, it sounds nice. Yeah, so uh, yeah, it, it's it's great for sure. It's great. Uh, I mean, it's not easy to keep uh, to keep focused for for that amount of time. I mean, it's. Uh, Ask me, I'm going to be the first one to say that's one of the hardest thing ever. But um, I, I, I've been just pretty simple with whatever I would. I'm, I'm doing on and off the court and just doing my job and trying to enjoy as much as I can the little time that I have off the court and um, and just um, I think pretty much enjoying my time on the court as well right now I think I'm, I love the fighting the fighting spirit uh, that I have right now and um, things seems to work well and so up against either Rayonic or Nadal are you going to be watching the match tonight and what are your expectations yeah, I'll see a little bit of the match. I mean, I've played those guys quite a few times, and honestly, I don't, I don't expect anything. I just, uh, I'm just gonna focus entirely on myself and entirely what I have to do in order to to beat whoever I play. Um, both of them extremely dangerous player, and especially when the conditions are like this here. Uh, so whoever I play, it's only gonna be an easy match. We all know it. Now we're at the stage of the Slam semifinals. There's. It's not an easy match, so you just have to go and take it.